have his opponent from this round, Daniel Naroditsky, in studio with us. Danya, you clearly did not have the kind of tournament you would have liked to have. And you got this position against, uh, against Sam, and we're debating the pros and cons and, and the fighting spirit and all that. What were your thoughts about playing him today? Yeah, I mean, first of all, I, I want to apologize to all the fans and, and to you guys. I hate it when people do that, not sarcastically. It's, uh, it, it's not what I want to do, but I, you know, yesterday's game particularly was very backbreaking. I, I should have drawn it. I've been getting more exhausted throughout the tournament. I know it's a crappy excuse, but um, I figured, you know, I'd play E4. If Sam wanted to play, he sometimes plays the French. So I thought, okay, if he plays the French, I'm not going to take on D5. We're going to play a game. Um, if he plays Knight F6 instead of Bishop C5, it's going to be a game. But if he plays Bishop C5, I figured um, um, I'd make a draw. I really didn't want to, you know, lose the last game of the tournament. I think overall it was a, you know, there were ups and downs in this event. I, I have some games I'm really proud of. But again, I... Uh, Obviously, this is not something I want to do, but um, you know, it's I was tired, and I again, I, I really didn't want to end the tournament on, on two losses, so I decided to go for it. Overall, it's been a return to the championship for you. How do you assess the ups and the downs, and the, what are the lessons that you've learned? Yeah, I mean, I think overall, I'm quite happy with my performance. I mean, I, I think I didn't neither lost nor gain any rating, so my performance was was my rating. Obviously, minus two optically is not the score I wanted to have. I wanted to get 50%. However, I think the positives are obviously my two wins I'm really proud of. Um, and I had a couple of draws that I was really happy about. I was able to hold Lenier and Wesley, and I didn't lose any gains in five moves as I thought I would. <laughs> um, th there was a lot of stuff I was unhappy about. I felt like I was rusty. I, I was getting tired toward the end of each game, and the mistakes started to pile on. This happened against Sam Shankland, <laughs> not Sevian. This I made, made no mistakes in this game. It was a perfect game. <laughs> this happened against uh, Shankland, against Wesley. I was completely lost at one point, so I really need to work on my stamina, and I think I need to work on my end game technique, particularly in equal positions. I mean, these 2700s, they know how to press and how to squeeze you know, water from, from nothing, I and mean, they create chances out of thin air. So. Uh, with that being said, it was a great honor to play. Um, I would, you know, this is like a, a dream for me, so so much to learn from, and I think I can I can come back stronger if I have the have the honor of being invited to subsequent U.S. championships. Well, certainly deserving of this honor. Let me ask you: You're a streamer these days. How much are you going to combine streaming with the hard work you need to improve as a chess player? That's a great question. I'm, I'm asking myself this question. Um, and it's not just streaming, you know, I do commentating and teaching and, you know, I, I only had two months to prepare for this tournament with all of that stuff on top of everything. So, you know, my expectations weren't too high. Yeah, I mean, I, I love what I do. I love commentating. I love streaming. Uh, at the same time, I think this tournament has really set me on fire in terms of my desire to, to get my rating up and at least hit 2650 in the near future. So. I'm going to be shifting the balance a little bit and trying to make time for chess training. I'm playing the U.S. Masters in Charlotte uh, over Thanksgiving break, so I'm definitely going to be playing some tournaments next year. And it's, it's a brutal chess landscape out there these days. Everybody's incredibly good. So, you know, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do what I can. But, yeah, it's a tough balance for sure. All right, it's good to hear that you're going to be playing more chess. We want to see some of your brilliant games. You've been on my stream before showing some of those amazing games you've been in That was a lot form. of fun. Uh, congratulations on a solid performance, like you said, not tanking despite not having been in great form, and good luck with the rest of your chess career. Thanks, Maurice. Appreciate it. Celebrate those wins, Danya. Yeah, time to hit the bar again. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to you.